Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I've got two main stories to go over. First one is going to be going over everything at the October 30th event, and the next one is kind of about the iPhone XR. All right, so to start off, I know there wasn't a video yesterday. Uh, kind of got busy uh, last night and probably be busy this weekend as well, but uh, I wanna get this video out to you guys as soon as possible and to kind of go over a few things. So, so I know the iPhone XR is kind of all the rage right now. Everyone's getting it and doing their reviews. Um, and I'm going to give you some perspective from myself uh, as well as other YouTubers like I Justine and stuff. Um, so just sit tight. First, I wanna go over what to expect at Apple's October 30th event. Probably the biggest thing we're gonna see is the iPad Pro. So this is what we expect it to look like. Uh, basically bezel-less all the way around, no notch because well, there's a slight bezel around it, but it's bezel-less for all intents and purposes. You gotta have somewhere to put your hands. So this is what they think it's gonna look like. I think so as well. Um, these are the dimensions. Uh, that we were given and some schematics that people rendered based on alleged CAD drawings. So this is what you can kind of expect to see. Uh, very blocky in design, so it should be decent to hold. Uh, then we got the Apple Pencil 2. Um, we're not really sure what it's going to entail, but could feature AirPods like pairing experience. So basically you won't need to plug it into the lightning port to switch devices and stuff like that. iPad mini, which I know a lot of you guys are actually looking forward to. Not sure what it's going to look like. Uh, if it's going to be bezel-less or if it's going to just have this huge chin and forehead on it, uh, we'll have to see about that. Uh, next up, the MacBook Air. We expect a refresh of some type. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be a MacBook or maybe a MacBook Air version 2, a uh, very cheap one, like under $1,000. So we'll have to see on that. And then MacBooks, uh, these should get a spec bump. Um, basically just with new chips that would be the intel 8th gen amber lake y series processors that were actually announced last august so those will be put into these kind of bringing them up into the late 2018 uh, computer scene all right then we got the imax which we don't expect a radical redesign and i really think they need one uh, i think they need to get rid of those bezels because they just look so so outdated uh, looks just so 2008 yeah so if they can get rid of the bezels that'd be great but we don't expect that uh, we expect at the event uh, just again some Intel uh, processor improvements with the 8th gen in there so we'll have to see on that Mac mini I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for that for over 1400 days since we got you know a new one um, we expect a refreshed version it will probably look different too um, but a lot of people you know this is kind of going to be their first entry into uh, the Mac and I think the Mac mini kind of gives people that step in. I know I was looking at it before I got ever my first Mac. So I think a lot of people are looking forward to that. So other possibilities here, the Mac Pro could get a preview. Uh, we could see, you know, the trash can Mac Pro if it gets redesigned and actually looks decent. Um, the iMac Pro could get an update, power and AirPods. <laughs> I don't even want to speculate on that anymore, to be honest with you guys. I'm kind of, kind of done with that, but we could see those at the event. Um, they might tease them again. I, I don't know. I think people have kind of forgotten about the air power mat and the, the AirPods too, you know, they look good, but will they ever come out? Who knows? So Apple's event will kick off at 10 a.m. Eastern time, three hours earlier than events are normally held. That's because it's taking place on the East Coast uh, over where I live, not the West Coast. It's kind of interesting. Um, and Apple is planning to live stream the product unveilings on its website or on, and you can watch it on the Apple TV or pretty much anywhere. So uh, we will, of course, be going over everything that they uh, show off there. But I just want to give you guys this is kind of like the last close look at what could be uh, actually announced. So very exciting event. But now let's get on to the iPhone 10R. So all the YouTubers are basically putting out videos that look just like this. Um, they're unboxing all the different colors and stuff and everyone kind of has their favorite. Uh, I've watched some really interesting perspectives on what color is the best. Some people think the white looks super clean. Uh, I know I Justine likes it, but then a lot of the girls also like the girly colors like the coral and the blue, um, which I think the blue is slightly more girly. Also kind of think it looks like that BMW M3 blue uh, looks really good. Now, if I had to pick, I would it would be a hard choice between uh, the red, white and the blue, to be honest with you guys. Um, I'd probably go with the red just because it looks so deep and nice, but all, honestly, all of them look pretty good. The yellow is a little off to me just because of the bezels. Now, I'm going to put up on the screen here. I asked I Justine, you know, I took it upon myself to ask, what's your favorite color? And I'll put that up on the screen now. Uh, and basically, girl's the favorite, but blue is probably second best. And I agree with that. Most girls will probably gravitate towards that. Now, they might also like the yellow. Now, of course, I blurred everything else and crossed it off so you guys can't get any cell numbers or anything. That would be weird. But I think that's pretty interesting. In her video, she also mentions, you know, the white looks nice. And I honestly have to agree. I think the white looks super clean. A different color than the iPhone XS in white. In the iPhone X, it's less cloudy and less... I don't know, it's more bright white like the old 4S's, if you remember those. Um, now, iFixit gave us a sneak peek inside the iPhone XR with a new teardown. And of course, they did their x-ray shot like they always do. 
Um, and you guys can see what that looks like right here. It looks pretty sweet. All those shots always look pretty cool to be honest with you guys. So here is what it looks like on the inside. Um, looks pretty good, just like the 10s and even the iPhone 10 for that matter. Maybe not quite as tidy or cool looking on the inside, but uh, nonetheless, it looks really good, just like all Apple products for the most part. So here it is all broken down. The iPhone 10R is a really good phone. So here's some first impressions from the first iPhone 10R owners. Um, here is a look at the red one. It looks like a deep, like a candy apple red mixed with like a blood red. I don't know. It just looks really good and deep. Uh, here's the blue again looking like that bmw m3 blue it is apparently a little lighter in person uh, some people have mentioned that uh, but i think it looks really good as you can see this is almost definitely the european version because they got all this crap on the back but here in america i don't think you will see any of that it'll just look clean so that's nice you can see people are saying it's quite big and heavy coming from the 6s this is a really different animal so basically what a lot of other people are saying is that the iphone 10r is thick and almost feels like a plus size phone even though it's not so it's not as enormous as the you know 10s max but some people are saying the width almost feels like the old plus series which is not a good thing in my opinion now i think a lot of this is due to the thickness of the device so i think this phone is something like 0.6 millimeters uh, thicker than the 10s it does have some heft to it it's a it's a thick one right there it's good for some things but for a phone i don't know when you slap a case on this thing it just gets almost too big uh, some people are saying and they pretty much describe it just how i said uh, a little brighter than blood red so kind of like a candy apple and a blood red mixed now people are also saying the display is not as good as the oled but that is to be expected um, but it still looks really good according to most people um, no one really said it looks bad unless you're coming from a 10 or a 10s or a 10s max and then you're looking at it then you're kind of like uh you know you kind of you've already been spoiled for the average consumer this is going to be more than enough so I think a lot of people are going to be very happy uh, overall with this phone. And the performance is obviously great with the A12 Bionic processor. So anyways, let me know if you guys got this phone. Um, just to kind of go over the colors again, um, a lot of people are saying blue is nice. It's kind of like the BMW M3 blue. Coral is nice. Red is also nice. White looks super clean and it's more of a pure white. The black looks darker than the 10s black. And the yellow kind of looks bad due to the border being a little bit of a lighter shade. Um, now that's also true on the coral and a little bit on the white um, and blue ones, but overall, I don't think it's a big deal. But what do I recommend? I recommend all of you guys, if you're looking to get one of these, go into the Apple store yourself, check them out, play with them in your hand, ladies, and just get a feel for it. See if you like it. Um, you might not like the size. I can definitely imagine some girls going in there, trying it out and saying, wow, this is just way too big. It doesn't fit in my hand properly. And then they're going to go towards the iPhone XS or even a used iPhone 10. And that is totally acceptable in my opinion. I think the iPhone 10 is also a good buy. Uh, if you buy it used from someone maybe you know or someone that's treated it very well, um, I think that's a good idea as well for a lot of people. But the overwhelming majority of people say the iPhone 10R is an awesome phone. So definitely check it out, guys. I think the sweet spot is that 128 gigabyte one for only $50 more than the 64 gig one. So I say go for that one. That's the one I would get if I was gonna get one. However, I'm not. Now, I was going to premiere this episode, guys, but I'm not going to tonight because I got to go out later. Uh, so I'm not even going to be around to watch the premiere, which would be stupid because the whole point of the premiere is to be live with you guys in the chat. Um, so unfortunately, tonight's not the night. Maybe tomorrow night. We'll have to see about that. But I know a lot of people don't understand what a premiere is. So I kind of want to get you guys acclimated to it and let you see what it's like. That's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, please hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe. You guys are all awesome. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.